I'm Matt Castle, and I play Scotty, who is uh, Franklin's agent in the show. And I also play piano and bass. And I'm Lena Rideout, and I play Gussie Carnegie, uh, otherwise Shirley Malinsky, that's, that's how she starts out. And I play a uh, violin and bass. Climbing mountains can be slow, darling. What do we like about working with John and working on a Sondheim show? Well, you want to go first? Well, first of all, Sondheim to me is uh, Shakespeare or um, <clears throat> Mozart or Beethoven. So, you know, when we get to meet him at any point, you know, it's like saying, oh, good, we get to meet Beethoven or Mozart. So, yeah, it's kind of incredible. We get to meet this man. We get to yeah. be alive at the same time as him and meet him and, and work on his material. And say his words and have his music come out of our mouth. I mean, it's just always been a dream of mine, so now this is, here we are again! Working with John is interesting, too, particularly in conjunction with this material. Uh, I feel like um, Sondheim's shows are so uh, revered by people that we all memorize the cast albums, we know every breath, we know the pacing so well, and something about John's process deconstructs it mm -hmm. for us so that um, he's, he's been talking a lot, even the last few days, about it shouldn't feel like there's a scene and then ta-da, there's a song. It should mm -hmm. feel that the whole thing flows together seamlessly. The challenge of rehearsing with all this stuff in our hands and being actors and also the orchestra, having an instrument in my hand to play, is um, mostly rooted in the fear of not being able to do it all right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I know what it will look like to the audience because I watch Sweeney, I've seen other shows of right, John's, right. and I've seen yeah. our show on Broadway on tape, and I think, wow, oh, how do they do all that? Yeah. I knew yeah. they were doing it, but it's incredible to watch. But yeah. from inside, it doesn't feel like that. It just feels like um, I don't, you learn how to do it. We add one layer at a time, and it gets easier. Well, the thing, too, that John um, put in, in one sentence today, what it is, like, I, I think he said it before, but finally I was like, oh, yeah, what we do is we act the lines, we say the lines, but we play the subtext. So that's what it's about. Like, if I'm playing my violin, um, it's a different voice, a different emotion of Gussie in that moment. And if I'm playing bass, that's probably going to inform what she's doing. There's something about how you play and how I play that I think we have in common that makes us especially well suited to this kind of work. We both play soulfully. Yeah. You know, I, the way I play the piano is as if I were saying all those notes, is that I need to say them. Yeah. I'm making up these notes and I'm going to send them to you. Audiences, I think, will find this exciting, partly just because it's a virtuosic ta uh, achievement of mm -hmm. running around and playing these instruments and, and other things that happen in the show that I don't want to give spoiler alerts. Um, that are, that it's just a virtuosic achievement. Uh, that's exciting no matter what the content is, but I think uh, people, people who know Merrily will we roll along to whatever extent. Maybe they only know the songs and the CD, or maybe they've seen a production or done the play. Uh, I think they will discover new things that they didn't know were there. It's a sale, oh. 